Dennis Dodd writes, Iamaleava was the early NIL poster boy, reportedly signing a three-year bonus-laden $8 million NIL deal with a Tennessee collective. One small detail, Iamaleava, a five-star prospect from California, must beat out veteran Joe Milton, who can throw it from here to next Thursday, and is familiar with Josh Heupel's explosive offense. The quarterback battle winner must somehow resemble Hendon Hooker. How Iamaleava lives up to his contract will be mixed in with new offensive coordinator Joey Halsley. You won't believe this. Actually, you will. But there are already whispers Iamaleava isn't worth the $8 million. Tennessee is covered as closely as the White House. That was written by Dennis Dodd, CBSSports.com. Those last two sentences will be what catches the attention of Tennessee fans probably, saying that there are already whispers Nico is not worth the money, and then adding Tennessee is covered as closely as the White House. Now that is, that's interesting just writing it. It's also interesting because they haven't practiced yet. <laughs> now they're, they're going through workouts, they're throwing and all that. Uh, we saw the video of the uh, hit the goalpost competition. Mm-hmm. But Dennis Dodd writing that there are already whispers that Nico is not worth the $8 million. And uh, I will add in, he did go through some bowl practices, but in terms of spring practice, officially being with the team, that will start up later this month. What do you think, hearing this, reading this, from Dennis Dodd? I mean, it sounds like he got better sources than me, because I haven't heard that about about Nico. Well, they were whispered. Maybe you weren't listening closely enough. I mean, <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess not. Um, wow. During the break, I was asking you, let's just say Nico has two years of what Hendon did at Tennessee. Would he be worth that type of money? And you say, yeah. And, and, I, and I did not hesitate. No, I didn't, and I'm not going to hesitate either, mm -hmm. uh, 100%. How do... Anyone, how does anyone know what Nico is worth or not worth March the 2nd, March the 1st, any time before spring football starts? Before his freshman season actually begins. Like, how do you know that? The answer is you don't know. Josh Heupel, who is a quarterback whisperer, would we agree? The results would back that up. Okay. I agree as well. Josh Heupel himself, and this is no knock on Josh Heupel at all. I'm just trying to uh, illustrate a point here about how, how can you know when you haven't even seen practice or practice has, haven't, hasn't even started. Josh Heupel had Hendon and Joe Milton competing in a quarterback competition his first year. Had all fall camp. Joe was here during the summer. Considered everything and went with Joe Milton. Why? Because Hendon wasn't able to show the things in fall camp and in practice during the competition that he was able to show in the games. During the competition, quarterbacks have on a red jersey, green jersey, whatever. You cannot touch them. And so I think that affected the evaluation a little bit. When Hendon came back in as a starter, during the games, he did things that you are not able to see during fall camp because you don't want your quarterback getting hit 100%. So if the Tennessee football staff and Josh Heupel himself, who was a quarterback whisperer, went with Joe instead of Hendon based on what he saw, and there's weeks of practice, how in the hell is someone who's never – seen practice, workouts, and practice hasn't even started, how can we sit here and say that a guy like Nico is not worth big money? Because it's hard for me to believe that in four years of Tennessee that he is not going to be put in a position to do what Hendon was able to do at least two out of the four years. At least. Also, judging based on... What he is right now is not how you're going to determine worth, right? 
in that it mentions that Nico has to beat out Joe Milton they to won. be the starter this year. Yeah, that's not the case. That's not the, yeah, that's not the expectation. Uh, Joe Milton is the expected starter this fall. Perhaps that changes, but that's not the expectation. Remember, if you want to call their workouts and what they're doing on the, the practice field right now, competition, that's a senior in college, Joe Milton, competing with a senior in high school in Nico. He is a senior in high school who has enrolled early. Is the expectation that he is better than Joe Milton right now? Because I don't think that it is on the Hill. So no. why would that be the outside expectation? Ultimately, in the future, that could absolutely be the case. Maybe sometime this season that ends up being the case. But right now, why would anybody have that expectation? Well, the outside expectation is, and I think Braden uh, has referenced this, and I think it's fair that Joe Milton has had plenty of opportunities to show what he can do. He's been the starter twice at two different places, and he's lost the job. That part is true. And so the outsiders look at Joe Milton, and they're going, well, that was just one game against Clemson. He has his tools. He can throw it a mile, but he's yet to put it together. That's why Joe Milton's not on top ten list in the SEC, because people, they haven't bought into Joe yet. Now, our coaches – have confidence in Joe. I think our fans, to, for the most part, want to believe that Joe has turned the corner based on what happened uh, in the Orange Bowl. But that's why the expectations are different because they're looking at Joe from his time at Michigan, the first time uh, being a starter at Tennessee when Hendon took over after he got hurt and then the offense just took off from there. That's why they just assume that Nico – should be coming in and being day one guy. If you're going to pay a guy $8 million, he should be able to be the day one guy, day one guy over a, a quarterback like Joe Milton who has yet to have a season-long full of success and consistency. And I just think that's off base. I think that's more narrative than reality. I think so, too. 